Good morning, this is Hank. It's Sunday, May, I'm sorry, June 26th, about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, this is a quick video of the status of our garden, the fifth bi-weekly video I've made this year. Uh, I shot the corn last uh, time, about two weeks ago. There's an old saying about corn being knee-high by the 4th of July. You have a good corn crop. Well, as you can see, ours is about armpit high now for normal height to six foot man uh, last week it's grown uh, quite profusely we've had a lot of moisture and relatively cool so things are very very green uh, over here you can see that we have staked the uh, ornamental pear that we bought with the gift certificates that kind people gave us in memory of Jason and there's a Washington Hawthorne that is, if I can shoot it way down there, and I staked it yesterday, so that's been done uh, also. So let me spin around slowly to the garden, and I'll tell you some stories about it. The tomato plants, two rows of them here in front, are uh, many of them four foot high, uh, four foot across or more, and they are laden with green tomatoes, some uh, quite large, so it'll be a three weeks to a month. We ought to be having some tomatoes. Uh, the tomatillas that Justin really likes are doing extremely well. You can see that the uh, plants are absolutely loaded uh, with that variety, which Justin again says that you make good Mexican uh, salsa out of. Uh, for some reason, this plant up here at the end has a lot of blossoms, but it's a little bit late and setting fruit but uh, it's coming along very strongly so I'm going to walk down and show you the pepper plants uh, here in a minute uh, the radishes are just about gone uh, they're, they're getting hot and pithy and starting to split but Brudy doesn't care uh, he's still harvesting them whenever we come out next row the blue lake beans string beans are coming along very well uh, they're starting to blossom which means in the vicinity of three weeks, we uh, should be having green beans, if not sooner. Um, the zucchini continue to produce at an ungodly rate. Uh, last uh, week I gave Natalie a great big sack full, kind of a joke. Uh, Friday I gave uh, Jerry everything that we had. Jerry's our brother-in-law. And uh, three days later you come out here and see that we have a bunch of zucchini that are at uh, or a little bit past uh, premium size uh, for salad. So uh, zucchinis is why they had so many recipes for them. They grow extremely profusely uh, out here. The blossoms are extremely nice color of yellow, as you can see here and uh, they are something else. The sunflowers, I have a pole right here, and pardon me while I reach down and bring it up, I'll clean it up against the uh, leaves of that particular sunflower. The pole is exactly four foot high, so you can see up here at the top that the sunflower that I have it leaning against is almost a foot higher. Uh, and there are several on further down there that are higher than that. So I would suspect when I shoot the next video in two weeks, they will be uh, approaching the six foot or more in height. The Chinese snow peas uh, have numerous blossoms on them. And in fact, when I get down to the other end, I'll, I'll show you. We have quite a few Chinese snow peas that are starting to come. Uh, Patty Cassidy, ask about what you do about deer. What you do about deer is nothing. Uh, they do come around. They're very curious. Uh, as you can see on this plant here, they have in fact uh, nibbled some of the leaves off. And same thing in this two rows right here in the end. Uh, I don't think they like sunflowers all that well because they've left the uh, rest of them uh, alone. But just so you know, I'll try to get a shot right there as a deer print. They have in fact been there. Some more prints there. Another print there. So they do come around and and look. Uh, we do have 
does with fawns that have spots on them now running around so they're here but patty the secret is you just plant enough so it doesn't make any difference so let's take a real quick walk uh, down here i will want to show you a couple peppers and on the way down i know it's going to be jerky and i apologize for that in advance that uh, we'll walk down next to the uh, chinese snow peas and uh, I've already picked some, but assuming that uh, we can see, we do have Chinese snow peas enough that we can start picking them and uh, having stir fry to our heart's content for several weeks. Again, we've had relatively cool weather, which Chinese snow peas really like. Uh, there's another nice one there. Uh, this fence is three foot tall, by the way. And you can see in places the Chinese snow peas have already gone higher uh, than the three foot tall fence. Uh, just in case you're wondering about these tomatoes, do in fact they have tomatoes on them? Yes, indeed they do. Several of them are uh, as big as, for those you can remember, a silver dollar uh, in size or bigger. Uh, they're coming along like gangbusters. So it won't be that long where we'll be having literally uh, bushels of tomatoes from the 28 plants that we have uh, growing here. Uh, that one obviously is aroma, and aromas are very prolific when they get started. So we'll have a lot of aromas too. We have three varieties of pepper plants growing here. I didn't go hog well this year. The uh, first four plants here are pepperoncinis, and they don't look like the one that you get in a jar. These are quite a bit larger, as you can see in my hand, and they're probably six to eight uh, per plant with a lot of blossoms on them, so they'll be coming along uh, very quickly. Uh, these are called Better Bell, and these are green peppers, and this green pepper here is, oh, maybe almost three inches in length and uh, there are several of them on each pepper plant. The uh, last row of four here are a variety called Garden Salsa and these are hot and you can see uh, from my hand there these are quite large they're one two three four five six seven eight so far on that plant so it looks like they're going to be very prolific. Uh, that one's approaching uh, eight lenses in length already. So about any time we want to, we can uh, start harvesting those and chop them up and uh, put them in stir fry. So that's what the garden looks like on Sunday morning, uh, June 28th. And I imagine next time I will have removed the uh, radishes and tilled this row under. Uh, one last thing, the cucumbers over here have a zillion blossoms on them. In each place there's a blossom There will be a cucumber. I get down in here, you can see a little fella right there at the tip of my finger. And they are prolific. There will be literally bushels of uh, cucumbers that come out of here. So that's the garden and the cornfields are looking very good and we'll see you in two weeks.